One, two, two three. Previously. I'm extremely scared right now. I feel like I'm gonna have to cut all of my hair off. I don't know if, if it's all gonna fall out. Whether I have long hair or no fucking hair, I am a good person and your hair does not dictate how beautiful you are. Society has conditioned us to be one specific type of beautiful and if you don't fall into those specific categories, you are ugly. But that's not true. This doesn't make me anything. It just makes my hair long or short. Currently on Mackenzie Marie. Now that my hair is beyond repair, it's time to cut it all off. I just cut a bunch of my hair off. And although I am going to be cutting a lot more of it off, I think I found a hairstylist that can fix my hair. I've been talking to a hairstylist for the past couple days, an actual professional licensed hairstylist that does hair for a living. She asked me to send her pictures of my hair. I sent her some pictures of my hair. She said that it's possible that she can fix what has happened. Yes, I'm gonna have to lose a lot of my hair in order to get healthy hair again, but it's not all gonna have to come off. I'm not gonna have to shave all of it off. My hair is gonna look different. I'm not gonna look like the same person anymore. I am so afraid of change. Like, especially when it comes to my hair. I don't let anyone touch my hair. So the fact that I'm letting a stranger cut all my hair off, change it, fix it, uh, do whatever they think is best for it is terrifying to me. I'm gonna be cutting the rest of this off with her because I don't wanna mess it up anymore. I don't do hair and we've learned that with my previous videos. If you are new here and you have no idea what's going on, if you have no idea why I just cut my hair, my name's Mackenzie Marie and I ruined my hair to the extent of no return. Make sure to go watch my last videos if you wanna know how my hair got to this state and then come back and watch this video. Oh, this is bougie. Is it vegan? I have to get this fixed. Do you see this hair scrunchie? It's cute. I like it. My dog chewed on it before I got here. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm Chantal. It's so nice, nice to meet you. Hey, Madison. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come right in. Got like its own chemical breakage, like it kind of mullets it because yeah. it's like really short on top and then longer on the bottom. Yeah, I think the cut is most important right now. Yeah, but the only thing is that this down is already gum, yeah. so mm -hmm. it's gonna be really hard blending that, making that look nice. Is it clean right now? Uh, I don't remember the last time I washed it. <laughs> I'm not scared. I've dealt with stuff just this bad, but it is um, a little it, scary. It's a lot of work. You definitely won't fix this in one appointment. This is a process to help. We <laughs> can't mess with it anymore, so I'm not. Upload uh, three more videos of new hair colors. <laughs> <laughs> you should not be allowed to touch it ever again. <laughs> We're not touching the rest with bleach ever again. Never, ever. Yeah. And look, are you ready to get your hair done, Kems? I'm really scared, but you know what I'm more scared about? is telling everybody that Bailey and I broke up. Yeah, you can see where her hair is really broken is where it's really baby pink up there. Oh, really? That means more broken hair? Well, because it didn't take the color. Like, look at the difference. Oh. And then look at the short pieces. Did you originally start your YouTube channel to damage your hair? Or did you just say that? <laughs> <laughs> wrong skin. Oh my god, girl. Look at this haircut real quick. <laughs> Straight as a ruler. <laughs> So many people have told me that I need to go get my hair done by an actual professional, so I feel like people are gonna be like, when they see this video, they're gonna be like, oh my god, she did it. The world is quaking. Subscribe. I've never had my hair like short before. So this really? is gonna, yeah, like 100% never had my hair short. I don't even know how you succeeded in doing this. <laughs> this is my favorite piece. When I was looking at it like two days ago, I was like, I'm, I thought I was gonna have to shave all of it off. Like I had no idea that Thank this is Thank God he didn't do that. I heard like having short hair like makes your face look fatter. No. Hmm. Not your face, but if that's the case, that's their face already. <laughs> <laughs> Drag! I'm excited for her to get it healthy. Like I want you to make a video where it's like three months ago and now, and then oh. move in it. Oh my like, god, I'm shook. And That's it'll just be idea. like, alive, you know? <laughs> the problem area has been spotted. Yes. Wow. So, how bad 
This is really bad. Yeah, Maria. It's really bad? Yeah. Um, On a scale of 1 to 10. This is 10, for <gasps> sure. It's like snowing blonde, pink and blonde oh, hair. Oh, it's really fine. Hey guys, it's snowing my hair. <laughs> this is not Dandra. True. <laughs> right. No, it's just my hair falling apart. Okay, so I'm thinking collarbone. Yeah. Blunt and nice and PC so we can get some of the damage off of these really short areas. Okay. And then um, what do you want to do as far as your fringe area? Because this is thinning as well from the breakage. Long layers in it mm -hmm. to kind of help it. I don't know if that'll help it though. For sure. Oh my gosh, Kathy. It does actually look a lot healthier. So the back is looking good so far, and we haven't Look even at this. We this haven't even texturized shine. and added layers yet. It feels different. Like you moving it feels different. Like air is going through. <laughs> like I actually have hair again. Well, I'm seeing my like. Ex I don't know if he's like my ex. I don't know if he's my boyfriend anymore, but. He's coming over to my house tonight, and I haven't seen him since we broke up, and we're gonna talk about what happened, and he agreed. He's okay with you filming yeah, it? Yeah, he agreed to be on camera and like talk about it, so that's terrifying, we're making a whole video about it. Why do you think he's agreeing to that? Because he wants to see me. I think he's gonna wanna get back together. Oh, okay. I don't know. Because you know some guys like to just be on the internet, just to be like, oh, let me get a shout out from my ex one last time, <laughs> so all these hoes can know I'm single. <laughs> Shut up! Oh my god! <laughs> No, he drove all the way back from Texas. Oh, is no, he, he living loves in you. Texas? <laughs> yeah, he drove all the way back from Texas last night, and then he just is getting here today. So what's caused the breakup originally? He wasn't spending enough time with me, and he thought, like, he was doing enough, and I was like, I just want, like, I want to feel like you love me, but he was, like, mm. always tired from work and stuff like that, and then we just kind of started, like, growing apart. And I, one night, I was just, like, sitting there just, like, crying about it, and he... Mm didn't really care and I was like get out of my house like oh. I don't want you here like Yay. I don't want to deal with this like I love you and I feel like like I don't even exist to you like that's not fair to me well, of course not yeah so I, I kicked him out of my house and I haven't seen him since then and today is the first day of me seeing him and now my hair do you love him do you want him to yeah, like, what do you want I, like, like what do you want out of this meeting right. I'm like scared I mm. I want him to like just fix everything that he did wrong and like that's not realistic but I mean it's just like communication is a very big thing yeah and so and that's what you guys need to start with is communicating communicating like talking to him like telling him how I feel did you lack with doing that in the past telling him well, how you felt whenever he tries to express himself to me like I'm very like I'm very dominant personality so I feel like sometimes I like talk over him and then he doesn't get to talk and then he closes up like completely mm. and he doesn't say anything and then like his problems he just lets them inside of him okay. and doesn't do anything and then eventually it just <laughs> that was <laughs> a good time. Time. it's what? so beautiful and i haven't even put the treatment in it we should give them the final reveal now yeah you're right you're right you're right so all right guys you ready <laughs> i'll see you once it's done one two, two three Next time on Mackenzie Marie. I just got a text message from Bailey saying that he is five minutes away. So I want him to like see me the moment that he gets here. I'm so scared right now. Like I don't know what he's gonna think of my hair. I don't know what he's gonna think of me. I don't know if he's gonna miss me. I don't know if he's gonna love me. We talk about getting married. And not only do we talk about that, but we we talk about having kids. Later, later on. Yeah, but you, you we talk about having kids, yes. yeah. So I feel like I put so much of my future into you that having that situation happen to me really fucked me up. I don't want to do the shit on camera.